guys, so today I am filming my get ready with me. This is my everyday makeup look um, for work and for going out. It's kind of from a day to night kind of look where all you really do is add the lipstick later if you don't want to wear it to work. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see how I got my face to look just like this, keep watching. So I usually just start my face with a primer. So I have the Maybelline New York Master Primer. It's by Face Studio. So I'm just gonna link everything down below, give you a quick look at it, and kind of make this not too long. Um, I guess we're doing a talk through. I wasn't planning on that. I recently picked up from Wet n Wild this Mega Cushion. It's supposed to be for your um, dark circles underneath your eyes. Um, I don't know how well I like it, to be honest. Like, when I first tried it, I thought it was pretty good, and then, like, of course, someone's mowing the lawn when I'm filming a video. Oh, inconsiderate. Um, so at first, I thought it was pretty cool, and then, like, the other day, I used it, and I felt like it didn't really work, but we'll see. So it comes with, like, this little cushion, little cushion pad, and then it's all in here, the product. It's pretty much like a sponge, and you just, like, press it in and get it on here. Maybe I wasn't using enough, I don't know. But I just put it underneath my eyes and I put it on the top of my eye as well. Just trying to correct that darkness that I have going on. I don't know. I feel like there's a slight difference. I can move you guys closer. Can't see my head too well, so. I feel like that corner is always like, that's like the hardest part to, part to do. I don't know. I mean, it does cover, but I feel like nothing really does the trick for me. That's what it means to be Italian. Dark circles, guys. <laughs> so guys, just a little spoiler. As I am filming this video, I am actually vlogging today. So you'll probably see a vlog before you see this one. I am testing out my new phone that I got. I got an iPhone 7 Plus. And it has iMovies on it, so I'm kind of curious, like low-key, real curious to see how it's going to be filming with that and then editing on iMovies instead. So I may do that just like as a tester, so see. So the next thing I do is I actually have been mixing two foundations. So I have the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. It's foundation and like sunscreen, whatever. So this is the one. I have it in Classic Ivory. And then I have Super Stay Better Skin from Maybelline. And the color is Porcelain. So this one was a little, I'm like, I don't tan. <laughs> I'm just like the whitest person, I guess. I don't know. I just can't tan. So I had something that's a little darker shade and I mixed with the lighter one because I feel like I can't get the correct color that I like. So I just pretty much put like a pump and a half of the darker one on hand and then I put about a pump that's maybe about a pump on here and then I take a damp beauty blender which I think is really damp today we're gonna try and squeeze some of that out take my damp beauty blender just kind of like take the tip of it to mix the colors together so you can kind of see and the cats are gonna fight in a minute and I just start putting it all over my face so I kind of just beat my face with this stuff, you know. I've been finding that I had a really hard time applying foundation for the longest time because I was using brushes and I felt it just didn't like go on nice and it was um, like sometimes it would look a little streaky or patchy and I didn't like it. But once I started using a beauty blender that I got from e.l.f. for like maybe five bucks or so, it wasn't that expensive, um, it's really changed my life. I'm the kind of person where I can't go to work without makeup on. Is anyone else like that? Like I just feel like because of my dark circles, I have to have like s at least foundation and like mascara on, just like something. I just feel like I'm gonna scare people away. I mean, you guys know, cause I vlog, like I don't wear makeup a lot when I'm home. It's only like if I'm going out or if I'm going to work. 
I didn't wear makeup once to work and I felt so blah. Nobody said anything, so that was a good sign. Someone's like, oh, you don't need makeup. I'm like, thanks, but I feel like I do. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. It's like a just a little concealer corrector. I don't know what color. I think it's oh, it's unfair. Um, so I do this for another layer of underneath my eyes. So especially like these corners are so dark. I used to have from um, Elf like um, HD like color corrector. It was like a highlight or just highlighting or something like that. I don't know. It was really good, but I think I ran out of it. So. It definitely brightened everything up, so I'm gonna have to get some more of that. I'm just gonna bake that in a little, beat that in. That's not baking. I'm gonna take my CoverGirl Outlast All Day. It's a matte finishing powder. It's in the Fair to Light shade with my Wet n Wild complexion brush. You can see we already hit the pan on that one. So I take a good amount, I put this all over. I always dust it off because I don't like pieces like falling on me. I just like to have something on top always and I like the matte look. Okay, just take a quick look. So the next thing I'm gonna use is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. So I'm just gonna spray that all over. Sometimes I won't do this, but I kind of like my makeup to last a little bit, so. Good. Then I'll take my e.l.f. eyebrow, ooh, what is that? I'm gonna take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, it's in the color medium. Um, I don't ever use like the gel side, I've tried once, I don't really understand it. I just use the powder with an angled brush and I fill in my brows just a little bit because they are rather sparse um, in some areas, so they're not that bad, but I just like to give them a little something extra, so. is going insane right now. So after I do that, I'll decide upon if I wanna put like a blush. Usually I've just been using my e.l.f. blush. Um, this one is Peachy Keen. So I just take a little bit on a brush. I'm gonna apply it just to the apple of my cheeks. And I like this because I feel like it's so simple, it's so basic, like I don't need to do much more. If I'm going out, I'll then throw some highlight on. Um, I'm not going to because it's daytime and I'm just home. Instead, I think I'm gonna just play a little bit with my NYC, uh, the New York color. This is the Demi Lovato palette in, yeah, this is the natural one. So, let's see what colors we feel like doing today. Brown over here, and then I may just throw on like a little lighter shade to it. So we're gonna try that. I'm sorry like if the light is changing, but I'm using mostly natural light and I have one ceiling light above me. And outside, like, I guess the clouds are rolling through, so it's like dipping in and out, but we're good. Actually, I think I may do the lighter one. I don't know, I'm scared now. Let's do the darker one. Let's go for it. We're just gonna do a little bit. And see how it looks. I don't want to apply it on like too darkly. I just put it all over my lid. I'm not like a perfectionist when it comes to eyeshadows. Like uh, my eyeshadow game is not that strong. You know. You know what I'm saying? It's just like what else? I'm going for basic here. Everyday simple glam. <laughs> I actually really like this palette and I don't use it with anything else. Like I've just, this is like my go-to. I just, I like like nudie, natural, basic kind of colors. Um, so I'm, I used to like playing around more with like pinks and purples and blues and greens and like doing like mermaid style or like even like comparable to a unicorn. 
Warm mermaid, I would say. But you could probably get away with a unicorn look with that. But um, I don't know, with my job, I'm just like, I try to keep it more classy. And yeah. So now I think I'm gonna take this one here, because it looks like a nice bronzy gold. I'm just gonna tap that off one. Did you see it? I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at this. It's this one right here that I'm using. Yeah, kind of see it. This one. So we started off with the, was that it? Yeah, we started off with this one. I'm not giving the finger. And now we're going over to this one. Y'all. Yes. I'm gonna put it all over the top of that. I think it's gonna be pretty. I think you guys are gonna agree that it's gonna be pretty. Sometimes the other thing I like to do is wet the brush and then put like the more the glittery kind of bronzy tones on because it like really pops. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be home and vlogging for the rest of the day. So actually I lied. I was invited to go out to dinner with a gal pal but don't know if we're going yet. So, so I kind of just do that. And then the next thing, the last thing I do is usually like my mascara or my lips. I think I'm going to just put on my lips first. So I have this LA Colors Matte Liquid, ugh, liquid <laughs> Lip Color. Um, this color is Eclipse. It's a little bit darker than I think what I would normally do. Maybe. Is this one the darker one? I think I was trying to put on Wet n Wild today, but whatever. This is closest to me. So the last thing I have is a Voluminous um, False Fiber Lashes. Um, oh god, where is, who is this from? I think it was L'Oreal. I don't know, because it's not saying on the package, but it looks like this. I don't know. I always try different mascaras. Like, every time I run out, I get a new one because I legit haven't found one that I really love aside from the NYX, like, pinup one. So, while my lips are drying, I don't curl my lashes. I have a curler, but, like, I feel like it doesn't really do much for me. So, I'm just going to put this on. My dog is burping because she's my little piglet. <laughs> So guys, that was my get ready with me for an everyday look. Um, this is something I would normally wear going to work or going out. I can kind of do both with it. Uh, the lip, usually I probably wouldn't wear to work depending on which department I was in that day. Um, usually I don't wear a lot of lipstick to work, but um, I would switch it up like when going out. So yeah. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for future videos. Bye.